that tornado? Oh, I didn't. Here at Bill Jackson Chevrolet in Troy, we've been doing business the right way for 31 years. But don't take our word for it. We feel our customers express it the best. Been honest in everything we've discussed with them. When they say Jackson satisfaction, they really mean it. The Jackson satisfaction is real. Trojan Auto Parts of Troy, home of Napa know-how. Stop by and see owners Mike and Melissa Kilcrease and their Napa know-how team with over 100 years of combined experience. We're the only locally owned parts store in Pike County and we're fully stocked and ready to serve you. We pride ourselves on being your go-to parts store, not only for the simple items, but we specialize in those hard-to-find items as well. Trojan Auto Parts, the right part at the right price at the right time. Napa, a name you've trusted here in Troy since 1945. Have you seen an increase in your insurance premiums or significant change in your insurance coverage? Let Sandbuck Insurance offer you a better plan to suit your business or personal needs. Sandbuck Insurance offers many lines of insurance. Whether it's home, farm, or auto insurance, work comp, business, or health and life policies, Sandbuck is here for you. Call or visit our Troy, Enterprise, or Andalusia office today. Sandbuck Insurance, where we take pride in taking care of your insurance needs. Our history is woven with the stories of those we serve. At Max, we've been a good community partner for 65 years. Max is dedicated to providing dependable financial services and to supporting our communities. We volunteer our time and share our resources. As a credit union, we've returned millions of dollars back to our members, local nonprofits, and small businesses. Max is honored to be a part of your story. We look forward to serving you for years to come. Yeah, here we go. Good morning and welcome to Today in LA. I'm Mike Amos, he's Jason, and we're about to start a, a wonderful uh, day uh, of the week, uh, Friday. And uh, of course, uh, uh, Jason, good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, pal. And we're shaking hands this morning and on our show, of course, uh, this show is brought to you by Premier Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram Trucks. And, uh, of course, uh, this is the picks of the week. Uh, we've got a few no-shows today. Uh, we've got to be careful with this. Uh, uh, with the this, COVID. The COVID. And uh, uh, we've got a few, couple of people that are going uh, to be calling in today. Mike Amos will be calling in from Great Beach, Florida. And uh, we look forward to that. And, uh, uh, how things going with with the dealership? Man, things are going really well. Uh, you know, we finished out October really strong, and man, we are just blessed. Uh, sold over 100 cars in, oh, in October. Man. Oh man, is that a record? It is for an October, yes, sir. You know, I rode through there yesterday, and it seemed like you have sold a lot of your used cars. We sold a lot of new and used. Uh, uh, but what I'm saying, I, it's just uh, you've you've gotten such a big layout out there now and, uh, of, of new and used cars and uh, but you take a lot of pride in your used cars too don't you that's right absolutely we try to have the best and in fact in, two in cars area. were out there one day and I rode back the next day they were gone yeah you know, uh, there are people uh, you know a lot of people are looking for new new cars and trucks but at the same time there are people looking for uh, uh, second owner cars that are That's in right. good shape with uh, with uh, less mileage than, than usual and whatever and have a good track record. You know, cars have track records, don't they? Oh, no, I try. <laughs> and you, you pretty much could follow it, can't you? You can. A uh, little bit of effort, but uh, you can get back to where they come from. Yeah. Of course, Jason Gregory uh, moved to Troy now. It's been over three years. Yes, sir. Isn't September it was three years. I wish we could show those show those girls riding those horses. I'm telling you what, uh, you've gotten into the horse business. Your children uh, look like they were born on a on a on a, <laughs> a horse. Uh, did you realize they would take to it so quick? Man, they just enjoy it. And uh, of course, uh, you know, and you could just sit there over your phone and take real good pictures. Now, can you transfer those pictures? Yeah. Oh gosh, I mean, it, it, it's it's really the way to do it, isn't it? It is a way to do it these days. Now, of course, uh, uh, with the holidays coming up, uh, you know, uh, uh, people are going to be looking for new, uh, good deals on new year, new and used cars and trucks. And of course, like we say, uh, uh, with Premier, nobody, I mean, nobody beats a Premier deal. And uh, uh, you, you'll say that uh, today, uh, whether a guy if he brings in something that says, hey. 
I'll, uh, I, I can get this truck or this car for that price. You're going to beat that price. Absolutely. Absolutely. We do it every day. You yeah. know, we, we have customers. We deliver cars to Florida, to the Panhandle, and it seems a couple times a week. Yeah. Um, to Columbus, Georgia, but obviously yeah, from my hometown. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, uh, you know, we, we send cars there, it seems like every day. Yeah, all parts of Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, uh, yeah. wherever it takes. I mean, we, we delivered uh, two cars last week to Augusta. Yeah. You know, your sales crew, and, and I, I walk in there, and it's, it's, it's been the same sales crew for a long time, And uh, but uh, people that want an, a good opportunity to sell cars, uh, you, you, Absolutely. You, you hire people every day, don't you? Every day. And, and, and of course, uh, uh, you know, uh, you've got the product, and, you know, that I've always felt like if you're a good salesman, you had the good product, that, uh, you know, you're in pretty good shape. Yeah, sure, absolutely. You know, with Jeep, is it's come a long ways. With the Ram product, it's come a long ways. Um, with the Chrysler yeah. products, it's come a long ways. So, really, I mean, my guys, they're great salespeople. Uh, Miss Kim does a great job, too, so oh, yeah. she's out there. But, you know, they, they really got it made, almost, because they've got a great product to sell. They don't have to make excuses There's for no, it. No question so. about it. And that, like we've also said this many times, you know, you know, you've got a, a, a tremendous inventory of, of new and used cars and trucks. But uh, hey, if you see a car that you want, you can get them, get it for them at, at, at rock bottom prices. That's right. I mean, so so what I'm saying, you, you know, uh, if, 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 hey, before you buy that car, hey, let uh, let uh, Jason Gregory take a look at it and uh, see what he'll give you for it. That's right. That's right. The dealer, dealers work pretty good on on, on things like that. Uh, you know, uh, how does that work usually? On the on the pre-owned cars? Yeah, I mean like. Yeah, um, we'll go out and we'll we'll find them. Well, I've got a large network of um, places where I can contact, make you know, make purchases on pre-owned cars. Uh, sometimes you gotta travel. I mean, yeah. we, we, we've but sent let, uh, let, your let's buddy say, Wayne Brock. Yeah, that's to, right. My buddy Wayne to Brock. To Philadelphia. We've sent yeah, them let, everywhere. Let, let's just say I saw a, a, a truck on on a lot uh, that I really liked, and I wanted to uh, wanted one like it. I reckon you'd shop around and see if you could find one like sure. it. Sure. If you couldn't, you you would maybe do uh, buy it from the that, that dealer. Is that right? That's right. What <laughs> what we can do? Okay, Mike Amos. Good good morning to you. How you doing? Good. I'm sorry, my hair and makeup. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, listen. You uh, you you're with two handsome dudes today. Uh, we we had a little. You look like you're uh, you look like you're getting ready for Christmas. You got your Christmas sweater on? Uh, no, this is my Crimson <laughs> Tide sweater. No, this is my Troy sweater, Mike. This is Troy Cardinal. And uh, they're getting ready to do battle. Have you, uh, have you found weekend. a driver to pay for yet? No, I've got a guy that is is talking to me about it, and, and so uh, if, when he calls me today, I better be ready to do something. Uh, you know, he he wants to drive over there, but I haven't made made up my mind yet. I tell you, he might want to come to the beach. It's going to be 80 and sunny all weekend. Well, I'm gonna be in there watching uh, football. I mean, what what would be the difference? <laughs> I, I, I'm not planning on going out on the beach. I tell you what, the weather is getting hot down here. Though I know it's it like is. a little cold snap, and now it's gonna be 80 for like five, six, seven days, and then potentially the hurricane's gonna wrap back around and come back into the Gulf of Mexico. Oh no! Are yeah. you serious? I heard that this morning. Oh God, it won't it won't uh, won't leave you. I mean, Mike just redid I mean, his house. It, 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 at a category four and then it curved back around so it come back and go through Cuba and then looks like it's gonna pop back up into the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. Crazy. Hey, 2020 for you. Well, I, I tell you what, <laughs> yeah. we've got uh, we've got a tremendous uh, group of high school and college games that we're gonna pick uh, uh, this weekend because this is the first round of the uh, high school playoffs and uh, uh, we're gonna be uh, uh, talking about them in, in a few moments. Uh, brought to you by Premier Dodge Chrysler, uh, Chrysler uh, Jeep and Ram Trucks, and we appreciate uh, Jason being a part of this show. Uh, of course, uh, last week we had our contest, and I won't give you the results of it in just a few moments. Uh, 
Mike, I don't know if you want to hear it or not. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I, I picked uh, Arkansas State, so I knew I lost that one. Well, uh, well, I think everybody picked Arkansas State. <laughs> and Troy just uh, romped. Uh, uh, you, you picked, you picked Troy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That. Well, I did <coughs> to, to be. Uh, yeah, I did do that. <laughs> I was actually, uh, I was actually live on the air with Dad on Friday last week, and. Uh, I was uh, looking at my, my blazer I had on. I was so wrinkly. I kind of looked like a, uh, a one of those uh, wrinkled dogs, a Sharpe. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a large Sharpe. Oh, gosh, yeah. Now, uh, did, you watch, uh, did you watch any of Monday Night Football last night? Uh, I know mean, how. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, how did it finally end? Uh, the uh, Packers won 34 to 17, but the crazy thing is they had. The San Francisco had. So many guys out with COVID and so many guys out with injuries, there's over $90 million of their roster was not playing last night. Oh, wow. Guys. So, I mean, it, it was just, you know, just backups, basically. You know, they were able to add like 10 to 15 guys on the practice squad. Oh, basically, man. They, they, Isn't that unreal? Hey, they, I can see them calling the car dealership say, hey, hey, listen, you, you have to play tonight. Get, get in your car and come on over here. <laughs> That's where it is yeah, a lot of times, isn't it? it Nick Mullins was the quarterback, you know. Of course, Chip Lindsey coached Nick Mullins at uh, at uh, Southern Miss. Yeah, and he's the backup quarterback for the 49ers. The kid from Spain Park out of Birmingham. That's right, and, and uh, yo, know, and, and like like the guy said, he said, "You give this guy time, uh, he can beat you." But uh, the problem was, he, they didn't give him time to throw it. <laughs> they didn't give him enough time. <laughs> You know, uh, yeah, the big, the big you know, uh, you know, Jason Gregory can complete him if he's got uh, uh, sixty seconds to find somebody wide open. <laughs> the biggest, the biggest thing going on tomorrow though is, is, uh, is well, I think free. You know, everybody thinks will be the starter, but what if Gunnar Watson's back to full health? No, uh, no, uh, I think Chip Lindsey is, 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 is made up his mind that he's going to start uh, uh, free. The kid from Bradley? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Reed. It, you know, it kind of like a similar, like, Levi Brown situation. Remember when Levi Brown came in when Jamie Hansen got hurt? Yeah, exactly. Let's, let's uh, check this out real quick. I'm going to uh, put you on hold. Good morning, y'all, today in L.A. How you doing? Hey, you want me to just listen? Yeah, I want you to know. I want you to, yeah, and I want you to, yeah, just listen. And, and I tried to get your attention before you left the, the driveway this morning. But uh, you had already headed that way, so uh, get your pen and pencil ready, and uh, and we'll, you'll be one of the you'll call in. Uh, Jason's here. Michael is on uh, 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 Zoom TV this morning. Is that right, Mike? Yeah, I'm on hold. Yeah, that's right. Got to get him off hold. So I'm gonna put you on. I'm gonna get you ready. Uh, let me let me get Michael in here. Uh, yeah, wait a minute. I thought well, I thought I had it, and I didn't. Well, it is now this one. Got it. Well, I'm having a little problem with the uh, bars. No, wait a minute. Here we go. One more time. We're, we're gonna have it. Well, I thought. Let's see. Now I've got to go. Uh, yeah, that right there is what's got to come on. Or wait a minute, is it up top? No, here we go. I've got it now. I've got it right here. One more here. One more. We got it. Well, well, hold on a second. All right, we got you, Mike. Is that right? Yeah, you got me. All right, now I got to get Forrest Ladder. I mean, Forrest uh, Lee in here. Well, well, that line has always been trouble in the seven. All right, here we go, right here. There we go, we got you. <laughs> After about 10 tries, we got you. Forrest, you're on the line now, is that right? We're great. Yeah, we're Forrest, are you doing doing well this morning, my friend? Fantastic. Got the golf course wide open. Got about six carts ready to go. And, 
we're ready well, to uh, uh, Well, in, in fact, uh, we're going to have Shell's Wonderful World of Golf, and, or excuse me, we're going to have Premier's Wonderful World of Golf uh, coming up soon down, from down there. We're going to have a showdown between Jason Gregory and, uh, uh, and uh, Troy's Best Golfer. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you grew up playing golf, though, didn't you? I did. Out at the country club. Did you go to? Got, uh, the, Bedford County played last night. They beat uh, Lee Scott thirty-four to fourteen. So I guess the uh, AISA playoffs yeah. have already started. Yeah, and you know those championships are, are held here. You know, in two weeks, you know, the, the 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 champions meet here uh, in in the stadium. For yeah, the finals, that's right. You know, okay, it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, did you play golf out at Sea Island? Where did you play golf? No, I, I played out of Sea Island before, but uh, I played a lot of it in Columbus over yeah. at uh, the Green Island Country Club in Columbus. Yeah, no, that was Green Island. I'm sorry, we're talking about Sea Island. The name of it was Green Island. That's right. They, they've had a PGA tournament that's there right. for years, you know, and that's where you grew up and played. That's right. <laughs> he, that and, he, and Mike, big city. Mike, he played at a pretty good golf course, would you say? Yeah. Does, does Cowley Gardens have nice golf courses? They've got really nice golf yeah. courses. Yeah, but they uh, got really nice. But at one time, yeah, for they, years, Mike, they had a, a pro. I mean, a PGA tournament uh, every year there. And it yeah. was always in yeah. September during football season. That's right. Like. What was it? The Southern Open. Yeah. And of course, uh, a lot of good golfers have come through there. All right, Mike. Uh, so we do have one one score in already. Um, and uh, I was going to, uh, of course, Charles Henderson. Yeah, yeah the, the reason I mentioned that is because it looks like Clyde Liberal Oz could probably play Bessemer Academy in the second round. Yeah, so that, that's right. That's down. probably who they will play, and that's going to be quite a game. Uh, in fact, they had a, 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 a jamboree they played in, in uh, uh, early in the year, and uh, uh, Bessemer Academy beat P Pike Liberal 5, uh, 13 to 7, so uh, they know a little, little bit about each other. Lou Vern is in the playoffs, uh, and uh, they're playing G.W. Long. That's going to be one that a lot of people are going to watch. Uh, of course, Long has really had a great year. Uh, well, where's Troy Cable's camera going to be tonight? Troy Cable's camera will be uh, at Pike Liberal Arts uh, for that, that game tonight. So it'll be live from, from Pike Liberal Arts as they go up against uh, uh, Monroe for the second weekend in, the, in, in a row. The, uh, how many times have you ever seen a team play one one uh, game and win win that game, and now they got to come back and play them again? So uh, somebody, that's, said, somebody said Monroe had a seven A quarterback transfer in this past week. Um, uh, uh, this past week, you know, you, you're you're being facetious, aren't you? And, and, and he's going to be the starting quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, I bet you, I bet you, Mays will be the starting quarterback. You you would think that uh, Pike Lib didn't show their whole uh, offense against uh, them last week. You would think they'd open it up a little bit more this week, probably. Oh uh, well, I don't know. You know that that game they hadn't beaten uh, Monroe in a long time, so I don't I don't believe they hid anything. I <laughs> think they pulled out all the all all the all the secrets. You know, Troy's gonna have that same situation in a couple weeks when Middle Tennessee State comes to Troy. Yeah, but well they they at least played each other earlier, you know. Yeah, I, I know, but playing a team twice in a year. Yeah, Forrest Lee, you on board with us? Yes, sir. I'm here. I got I've got something that, that I've got to got to got to get to you and to um, uh, Jason this morning, and uh, of course we're ready to go uh, with the high school games, uh, and then of course there's some some big ones out there. You follow is playing at Theodore down in Mobile. Carol of Ozark's playing at Selma. Uh, Rehoboth's playing at uh, Demopolis. That's the number one team in the state, so Rehoboth took a, have got a tough draw. Dale County is playing at Bibb County. And uh, Providence is playing at Montgomery Academy. That's going to be one that we'll look at. Providence, uh, of course, uh, under the Ke Kenny Keith, playing at... Uh, Playing at the Montgomery Country Club, you got to know where that is, uh, Jason, because hey, a lot of folks in this area over the years have sent their kids to Montgomery Academy, <laughs> and these Montgomery Academy folks call their school the Montgomery Academy. Is that right, uh, 
My Right next to your favorite restaurant, Martin's. I thought that's what you're going to bring no, up. No, 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 but I do like Martin's. I've got to take, uh, I, I have got to introduce uh, uh, Jason to Martin's because uh, it is really quite a quite a restaurant. It's been there a long time and got pulley bones and the best uh, cornbread you ever eaten in your life. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to put that game in, in there and... Uh, Let's see, Lou Vern's at long. We've got that one, and I want to make sure we got the rest, uh, ladies and gentlemen, on uh, on our show today. And we appreciate uh, <coughs> Premier bringing us this uh, picket show every week. We're gonna take a short break. We'll be back to uh, pick games right after this. At the Piggly Weekly, we proudly support our local farmers and bring you the best they have to offer, all at cost plus 10%. When you shop local, you reinvest in your community. Remember, buy local, shop local. Piggly Wiggly, local since forever. A personal touch, a high level of trust. Whether it's checking and savings accounts, personal or business loans, or our local friendly service. That's what Troy Bank and Trust customers expect. But now we offer more. Free identity theft protection for our new and existing customers. Protecting your family's time, money, and good name from identity theft. Because protecting your identity is now a big part of our identity. Troy Cable Security Wi-Fi Doorbell Camera allows you to answer the door from your smartphone when you are at home, at work, or on the go. When a visitor presses the button, Troy Cable Security sends a live video feed to your smartphone so you can see, hear, and speak to the person at your door. With the doorbell camera, you can have your porch light turn on automatically when it detects motion at night to create the appearance that someone is at home. You can view video clips so you can always know who stopped by when you are out. Troy Cable Security. You love them. Protect them. By its very nature, doing big things takes resilience and strength. You did the hard part, you did it, and we'll go farther still. Max is proud to be your champion, removing obstacles that get in your way. We make technology easy, saving and funds access uncomplicated, and provide help when and how you want it. You control your money with expert guidance from Max Credit Union. Smart money made simple. Your parts, you own, aren't you? No, nope. it all just went went off. Oh gosh, all of it went off. What is, what is, what is going on with the phone? Back to our show. It seems like everything is happening. We're we gonna have to. Uh, here we go. Here comes Forrest Lee. Here comes. Uh, let's let's see. Well, Forrest, good morning. How you doing? I'm here. All right, we're gonna bring Mike in, and we'll be ready to go. We got to go through this again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bang, bang. Here we go. One, two, one. One, two, one. Uh, I cannot believe I'm doing this again. There we go. Now we got both of them bleeding. Uh, is it this one right here? What? Let's see here. There we go, we got it. Uh, it's the bottom one instead of the top one. I'm sorry, I was, I was hitting the wrong one. Now we're back to play here, back to play here at uh, uh, at uh, Troy Cable Vision. Our game's been brought. I a, uh, a new speaker phone for uh, Christmas. Oh yeah, we well, the trouble with this phone. Well, we we got <laughs> we're 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 right all right right now in this ball game. This is Mike Amos along with Jason Gregory speaking to you from. High above uh, uh, Troy Cable Vision as we bring you our show today. Okay, we've got several big high school uh, games to t uh, to mention today. Uh, it, that are teams that are in the playoffs, and uh, I was wanting to get a few of those in. And of course, as uh, locally, we've got Pike County High School traveling to Hillcrest, and uh, let's pick that game first, uh, Jason. Uh, Pike County uh, playing Hillcrest of Evergreen, and uh, I don't have their records, but uh, they, they're both uh, pretty good football teams. Yeah, I'm going to go with Pike County. They're local, and, man, they play tough. What do you think, Mike? Who do you like? Well, I mean, Pike County struggles 
in the playoffs the last several years, even with some of the better teams in college. You know, they got upset by P.R. Miller last year. And uh, Hillcrest won the championship a couple of years ago. Um, I'm going to think they still have some of those players down there. I'm going to go with Hillcrest to beat Pike County. Okay, Hillcrest. Uh, I'm going to take Hillcrest. Well, no, I'm going to take Pike County. I'm going to take Pike County to go down there and beat them. Now, Hillcrest really does have a real good team. Do you know a little trivia question? Uh, Pike County, I mean, excuse me, Hillcrest was coached by what former Auburn uh, head football coach? And then, uh, in fact, in fact, he started. New, uh, he was the first coach in that new uh, uh, Hillcrest school. Barfield. You're right. Barfield was the coach there. He was their first coach, and uh, uh, this was after he had coached at Auburn. Uh, but uh, you know, do you ever know Barfield, uh, Jason? No, sir. One of the nicest guys you'll find anywhere. In the, you know, then after that, he went to went to Opelika. <clears throat> had those good teams at Opelika. Hill, right. Hillcrest is six and four. The yeah, Art right, Hillcrest is six and four. Uh, Mike. And, I'm taking uh, Hillcrest. All right, uh, I'm gonna take Pike County and uh, uh, Forrest. Uh, you, you're writing yours down. He, he'll take okay. Hillcrest. So everybody took Hillcrest except for me, or what? No, I took Pike County. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it, showed, yeah, it shows that um, Pike County played Hillcrest on August 28th this year, and lost <laughs> and lost two to nothing. <laughs> So they played it pretty tough. <laughs> I tell you what, you guys could find out anything. All right, Mike, you took Hill Chris. Uh, that must be the game that Pike County had to forfeit because yeah. of, uh, you know, they only let them play an area schedule this year. That's right. Did you take Hill Chris? Yeah, I took Hill Chris. Okay, the next game is Pike Liberal Arts playing host to Monroe Academy. And, of course, last week they went to Monroe and uh, Pike uh, won the game convincingly down there. Now they turn around, Jason. And in the playoffs, they play them again. It's hard to beat the same uh, team twice, but I think this Pike team, they, they don't, they don't, they, they love beating Monroe if they can. That's you right. Know? That's right. So uh, who do y'all like here? Uh, I'm going with Pike Lip. All right. Uh, Mike, who do you like? Yeah, you know, I like Pike Lip in this game. Um, I feel like, uh, you know, Team's just too good to lose to Monroe. Um, I'll take them. All right, uh, Bart. Who do you like here? It's going to be very close. I think Pike Lip. I'm picking Pike Lip, but it wouldn't surprise me if they get beat. But um, I think it's going to be close. Yeah. Um, I, close. I, I reckon it's no, uh, the, you know, stranger to this uh, virus, uh, uh, Bart. Are you doing well? That's great, and of course everybody's uh, uh, out there well, very what, concerned what, about it. What, what virus are you talking about? I haven't heard about the virus in a week. Something else been going on in the country? <laughs> the virus just seems like the virus just kind of disappeared. You don't even hear about it anymore. In the uh, media. Uh, hey, listen, I hear about it every day uh, <laughs> from different people. And uh, I, I, I'm just saying, it's just funny how the virus goes away when something else major yeah. going on in the country. Yeah. You don't hear about it. But well, we're not going to talk about it, hopefully, anymore today, except there's several college uh, games that are not being played because of it. Okay. Uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, the Pac-12 and, and, and the, big, you know, the Big Ten are in a situation, if they're going to sit guys out for 21 days, you know, when you're supposed to only have to sit out 10 days, I don't know how happy these things are even going to finish the season. You know, the protocols are just so much different. No, no question about it. Okay, the next game is Enterprise uh, playing at Theodore. They got to drive, go all the way to Theodore. Who is Theodore's coach, Mike? I want to. Uh, 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 the the Hoover the Hoover coaches uh, brother coaches at either Theodore or. Um, no, it's the Foley. He's back. He's at Foley. Yeah, he's at Hoover, Huh? He, he's back with Niblet at Hoover. Oh, is he? He's, he got uh, he got, yeah, he got fired. He got fired at Foley. Okay, I got you. So he's back. Okay. Who do you like here, Enterprise or Theodore? I'll take Enterprise. Okay. Uh, do you have any any score uh, records on them? Uh, I'm pulling them up right now. Uh, it, it's amazing that you can get all this information. All you got to do is go to Max Collier. All you got to do is go to Max Sproul. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Enterprise is seven and three. Theodore is nine and one. Yeah. I tell you what, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna take Enterprise. I think Enterprise is playing well. They beat Auburn a couple of weeks ago. I'm gonna take Enterprise. All right, Jason, who do you like? Theodore. I'm gonna take Theodore. That was awfully quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you say that record was? Nine and one. At nine and one in the Mobile area, you're pretty good, aren't you? Yeah. Mike, who do you like here? I think Enterprise, Enterprise has got to be by the bar out of Florida too. So I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is the schedule they play. They play all the great teams in seven A. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, all right. I'll tell you from there. All right, Forrest, who do you like? Theodore. Theodore. Mike, you took Enterprise or Theodore? Yeah, yeah, I'm taking Enterprise. Okay, he'll take Enterprise too, and uh, you took uh, Theodore. Okay, Carol of Ozark made the playoffs. Congratulations to them. And they'll uh, play at Selma. Uh, I think that's the, uh, who they're playing. They're playing yeah, you know, you know Carol said three weeks to get ready due to the COVID issue. Yeah, um, don't you know that was players. tough? Charles Anderson game. So what? What? I don't know if they knew the whole time they're going to be playing film, but they would have a lot of film to watch. I would guess. Guys, um, don't you know that's been tough on Carroll? And of course, their coach plays golf out at uh, the Troy Country Club every Saturday morning. <laughs> He's a good friend of our, ours. All right, who do you I'll like here, Selma. Mike? I'll take I'll, I'll take Selma. Oh boy, you're gonna take Selma over Carol over. I'm taking. I'm gonna take Carol. I'm gonna, I, uh, I think Carol is fired up, and they're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna take Carol. Uh, who do you like? Uh, did, did, didn't Carol just lose to Charles Anderson? Uh, yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did. I'm still taking Carol, Mike. I'm going with Selma. All right. Uh, all right. I'm, going, I'm going with Selma. My, Michael likes Selma. Yeah, we're all taking Selma. All right, I'm taking Carol. Who do you like, Paris Lee? Selma. Oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm in the wrong place today. Luverne at uh, Long High School of Skipperville. And, of course, uh, uh, Long High School is having a great year. and uh, But they did lose uh, to Abbeville the other day. and uh, uh, But Luverne, of course, uh, always good around uh, uh, playoff time. Who do you like here, uh, Jason? I'm going with Laverne. Jason Gregory, uh, owner of Premier Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram Trucks, says he wants Laverne. Politically correct, it was real nice, but you know, those guys, a lot of, a lot of guys from uh, 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 the uh, Long High School are, are going to buy cars too. Yeah, but I'm going with Laverne. <laughs> Seven and three. Oh, wow. Why do they call uh, Luverne the friendliest city? How do they get their name? I don't know, but uh, uh, there used to be a sign out outside of Troy saying, uh, "Welcome to Troy, home of ten thousand friendly people with just one or two old grouches." <laughs> that was a sign out there uh, for years and years in Troy. I'm gonna take G.W. Long. I think this would be a close game. Well, gee, they'll be along. Uh, the home field has a big uh, uh, to do here, and uh, they are playing at home. I'm going to take long to beat uh, Lou Verne. All right, uh, Jason, what do you think? I'm still going with Lou Verne. I thought they can pull it through. Like, what do you like, Forrest? Skipperville. Skipperville. All right, who do you like, Mike? I'll take G.W. Long. All right, Long. Okay, Long. Okay, the next uh, game is uh, Providence Christian going all the way up to Montgomery to play Montgomery Academy. And th this is the first uh, round of uh, the uh, Class 3A playoffs. Uh, I think uh, Montgomery Academy is undefeated. In fact, I know yeah, they I'll, are. I'll, They're undefeated. I'll take I'll take Montgomery County. <laughs> that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. Uh, who do you yeah, like, Jason? I'm going with um, Providence. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, Montgomery Academy. I'm trying to look up Providence Academy here. Okay. All right, Mike. Montgomery. Anybody take yeah, South Montgomery? I, I mean, Montgomery yeah, Academy. I, I, Montgomery Academy. Yeah. I, do, I do too. 
Okay, another big one uh, in, in the area. Arrington has to travel all the way to Isabella. And uh, uh, the $100 question is, where is Isabella? Uh, uh, have you ever sent a car to Isabella, uh, Jason? No, sir. Well, you tell Wayne Brock to get a map, and I'll tell him it, it's in Peach Country. Peach Country is right there in, uh, in Chilton County. Oh, Isabella, yeah? and they're having a very, very good year. I want to say they played a, a team in this area, and, and, uh, and yeah, they, they went played to, Goshen. Uh, they, went to they went to overtime with Luverne. Yeah, and, all right, they played, uh, and they did, 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 did they beat Luverne? Yeah, 46, they beat them by 40 in overtime. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah six in overtime. Well, uh, that answers yeah, my question. I, 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 talked to Chuck, I talked to Chuck Don, and he said this is a very young team at Arrington, and uh, they've gotten better as the year has gone on. Of course, you got Stephen Crump-Crease, the head coach, and Chuck is your defense coordinator. I mean, one of the best coaching staff in the Southeast. Um, they'll play Isabella tough, and I wouldn't be shocked if they beat them, but I'm going to take Isabella. Okay, you'll take uh, Isabella, and I'll take Isabella. <laughs> To win this game, I'm gonna take at, because it's at Isabella. Who do you like, Jason? Isabella. Isabella. Jason goes with Isabella. I'll take the Mustangs of Isabella. Uh, is that who they are? <laughs> you know a little bit about them. Uh, the in class four A or five A, excuse me, we've got Andalusia playing at home against Marbury. I think we're going to do that game with Andalusia against Marbury, and I'll take Andalusia. Now, Charles Simpson played Marbury early in the year and beat them. Uh, no, uh, Marbury beat yeah, Charles yeah. Simpson. Yeah, they beat him in the Jamboree. Yeah. Andalusia's played pretty well. Um, yeah, yeah. Andal Andalusia's pretty good. Yeah, they, they barely <laughs> got beat by the, the bar who beat uh, Enterprise. Um, of course, they just, Brantley. Um, they they yeah, knocked out a bunch of Brantley blades. And speaking of Brantley, that's our next pick is uh, who do we like in the Brantley game? Uh, I'll, I'll take Andalusia. Who's everybody going to take in that game? No, oh, Andalusia. Andalusia. Everybody taking Andalusia. 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 Now, here's a big one uh, in Class 1A. We had a hard time finding this yesterday, Mike. Uh, is, is my, one of my papers has it, and, and the other one doesn't. We're talking about the Brantley game. Who are they playing? Oh, here they are. They're playing Billingsley. Billingsley, yeah. uh, out of... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, near, it's near your favorite place. Uh, yeah, Jim's Barbecue, barbecue yeah, you're yeah, right. Your favorite barbecue. I'm, a, I'm going with uh, Brantley to win that game. Brantley uh, playing host to uh, Billingsley. Uh, who do you like, Jason? Brantley. Brantley. We know, we, we know Brantley's 10-1. Um, I still don't know why they play that game against Andalusia. I don't know uh, either, but... Whatever. So it seemed like they would have won it an off week. And I've heard that uh, their top receiver was hurt in that game and won't be able to play in this game. I, I, I don't know why well, they did it. Here's what I heard last night, Mike. I saw one of the uh, David Lowry's boys at the half shell. And one of David's sons is the, one of the coaches over there at Demopolis, but this boy still is at Troy University. Uh, the Kilcrease, one of the Kilcrease boys is out that plays uh, safety, but the wide receiver... They think just had a sprain wrist. It wasn't broken, so they expect him to play. Yeah. So that's good news for Brantley. Do you know? Do you know why they played that game against the Andalusia? Well, I'm sure it's for money. Ten games. I have no idea. When you think it would be for money that that uh, they would just split the gates? I wouldn't know the answer to that question. I wouldn't think. Well, Brantley's got the great quarterback. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. But uh, I think his first cousin. Had an injury and he will not play. Okay, all right. Uh, that's that's, that's sad there. there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's. Uh, does, does, does Jason know the uh, the history of Brantley? Does he know all the great Auburn players out of Brantley? He no. knows them all. He, the the persons, you know. You don't know Chuck. You don't know Chuck and Wesley Persons. They're no. from Brantley. You know the basketball players. Mm -mm. What? They both. Play, they both I mean, play. I know the name, but. I don't know. <laughs> All right. They're, 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 two, they're two of the greatest Auburn basketball players of all time. Yeah, in fact, they played in the NBA for several years. But, uh, okay, one more, and we'll uh, leave the high schools actually, alone. Actually, actually uh, Wesley's son played at Troy, and it's the all-time leading scorer. Yeah. Well, we got two more to pick. One of them is Geneva County playing at Highland Home. 
And uh, Geneva County has got the great running back. Uh, Highland Home is playing real well right now. They, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, I don't know. They're six and four. Uh, Highland Home's got a young defensive line that I don't know if he's a sauce for junior, but he is getting he, recruited by everybody everybody in the FCC. What's his name? Um, I can't, I'm, not, I'm not sure on his name, but I remember coaches. Will Pelsey was is the head coach, and he was telling me about him when he was like an eighth grader. Uh, uh, he's that, that kind of talent. Well, that's amazing. All right, who do you like? Do you like uh, Highland Home or Geneva County? Uh, uh, Jason, who do you like? I'm going with Highland Home. Uh, I'm, uh, well, I, I tell you, I hate, I hate to do this, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to go with Geneva County. Well, yeah, I'm going to take Geneva County. I'm going to take Geneva County because the running back, if, he, if he's playing, I assume he's playing. Okay, uh, all right, who do you like, Forrest Lee? I'm going to go with Geneva. Geneva. Geneva County. All right, I'm going to take Geneva County. And uh, Okay, uh, there's one more high school we're going to hit, and, and we're going to hit him hard, and that is, well, I had it right here on the tip of my tongue, and it is Greensboro at Op. <laughs> Greensboro at Op. We're, 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 Greensboro Op game. Yeah, Greensboro and Op. <laughs> I'm going to take Greensboro. Are they, are they called the Greensboro Catfish? Yeah, that's right. That's right, the Catfish Country. <laughs> Who are you going to take, Op uh, or Greensboro? I'll take Op, I guess. How about you, uh, Jason? Op. Jason takes Op. I'm going to take Op. Y'all turn. Y'all change my mind. I'm going to take Op. Mike, do you like Op? Yeah. Okay. Is Op still, when does Op have the Rattlesnake Radio? It's not too long from now. uh, I I tried to get Jason to go with me, and he wouldn't. But they did have it. I didn't have anything down in Op. (laughs) (laughs) Especially with those Rattlesnakes. I told him that we've had this Rattlesnakes out here on this floor. And they're like in March? Many many times, yeah. In fact, they they might be one still in here. Let's see. But we've had them perform right here on this carpet many times, the rattlesnake. I, I, I tell you what, rattlesnakes are moving this time of year. You keep on seeing more and more pictures on Facebook. All right. <laughs> you know what? I, I don't go in the woods unless it's cold. Unless it's cold. And then, then I watch pretty closely. Okay, now let's get into the colleges, but we're not going to do it until after these messages from our sponsors. Brought to you by Premier Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram Trucks on the bypass right here in Troy. At the Piggly Weekly, we proudly support our local farmers and bring you the best they have to offer, all at cost plus 10%. When you shop local, you reinvest in your community. Remember, buy local, shop local. Piggly Weekly, local since forever. A personal touch, a high level of trust. Whether it's checking and savings accounts, personal or business loans, or our local friendly service. That's what Troy Bank and Trust customers expect. But now we offer more. Free identity theft protection for our new and existing customers, protecting your family's time, money, and good name from identity theft. Because protecting your identity is now a big part of our identity. Troy Cable Security Wi-Fi Doorbell Camera allows you to answer the door from your smartphone when you are at home, at work, or on the go. When a visitor presses the button, Troy Cable Security sends a live video feed to your smartphone so you can see, hear, and speak to the person at your door. With the doorbell camera, you can have your porch light turn on automatically when it detects motion at night to create the appearance that someone is at home. You can view video clips so you can always know who stopped by when you are out. Troy Cable Security. You love them. Protect them. By its very nature, doing big things takes resilience and strength. You did the hard part, you did it, and we'll go farther still. Max is proud to be your champion, removing obstacles that get in your way. We make technology easy, saving and funds access uncomplicated and provide help when and how you want it. You control your money with expert guidance from Max Credit Union. Smart money made simple. Back to our show, brought to you by Premier Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram Trucks on the bypass right here in Troy. Mike Amos is in the Zoom corner. 
On the phone, we got Forrest Lee, and right next to me, we got uh, Jason Gregory, the owner and operator of uh, Premier Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram Trucks on the bypass, and we appreciate it. The big one to begin with, Notre Dame is traveling to, uh, no, uh, no, excuse me, Clemson is tra traveling to Notre Dame. Who do y'all like? I still like Clemson. The Clemson Tigers. Okay, uh, Jason likes uh, likes uh, uh, Clemson. Mike, everybody else let's seem to like uh, Notre Dame. Who do y'all like? I like Clemson. I mean, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'll be honest. Athlete. I mean, this is just not even close. I mean, they don't have near the athletes that Clemson has overall. I mean. And the quarterback got to start last week against Boston College, which I think he'll, you know, definitely play back, but, you know, better this week. How to pronounce his name, I have no no idea. It's like a summer below a kind of name. Um, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Clinton wins by a couple of touchdowns. Yeah, on <laughs> With his backup quarterback. But that, that we're talking I mean, about they're playing. He, 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 he's a five-star. But, I mean, Notre Dame just doesn't have the talent. I mean, they're, they're not – their talent – players doesn't match up with Clemson, in my opinion. Yeah. Mike, I, 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 uh, all right, uh, okay, uh, so everybody took Clemson and nobody took Notre Dame? No. Or everybody, you know, well, I took Clemson. I took Clemson. Uh, I feel the same way about it as, as you do. I'm going to throw one out at you this morning that, uh, that uh, I, I can't believe. I didn't realize it. UNA, the University of North Alabama, is playing at Southern Mississippi. That's, that's, this is a pretty much of a toss over. Uh, what do you think? Man, I have no clue. I'm going to take Southern Miss. Surely uh, UNA won't go in there and beat them at their own uh, place, but uh, they're having well, some, they're they're having having some turmoil. Yeah, Jeremy McClain's got all kinds of stuff going on. Southern Miss fired their coach or kind of he was on. And then the interim coach, while he was coaching, interviewed for the Austin P job and took the Austin P job. Oh, God. So now they're on their third coach. By the way, Clemson and North, Notre Dame are tomorrow night on NBC, prime time at 6.30. The line now is Clemson at five and a half, over under 50 and a half. So if you want to watch that game, it'll be tomorrow night at 6.30. Um, oh, that's going to be a good one. I'll, I'll take Southern Miss. I don't, I don't know why you – even put this game over. I just wanted to, people to know that North Alabama is playing big time football. One double A. Yeah. yeah, yeah, playing against a one A. North Carolina at Duke. Now, this is going to be a good one. Uh, you know, Duke uh, came back uh, and won a big one this past weekend. Uh, who do you like here, Jason? North Carolina. All right, Jason loves the baby blue, and I'll, I do too in this game. Uh, they lost last week, and now they got to come back. All right, who do y'all like? I'll take uh, the Southern Miss game and the North Carolina. All right, okay. Think, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I, I messed North, you up. I'll take North Carolina. Okay. All right, here's a big one here. Pittsburgh versus Florida State. Can Florida State beat Pittsburgh? They're playing at Florida State. <laughs> Who do y'all like here? I mean, I'm going to take Florida State, State to beat them. I'm going to take Florida State to beat them. You just don't know what you're going to get. They they barely beat Jacksonville State, and then they lost three games, except they beat a number five North Carolina at home. Man, who knows? I'll, I'll take uh, <laughs> Pittsburgh. Yeah, you took Pittsburgh. Okay, let me write that down. Pittsburgh. Mm. Jason, who you liking that game? I'm going with Pittsburgh. Who'd you like in the North Carolina Duke game? You like North Carolina? Yeah. And uh I'm Pittsburgh. And then this one right here is a good one. Liberty playing at Virginia Tech. Uh uh that that that's gonna be a good one. Both high scoring uh, teams and Liberty, you know, they haven't been around long, but they coached by your favorite coach, Mike. Yeah, Hugh Freeze has done a tremendous job. They're undefeated. Of course, uh, a lot of people are mentioning his name at several places. Uh, you know, I mean, a lot of people think he's going to get back into a power five job. I'll take Virginia Tech, but I think this will be a very close game. Okay. Um, I'll take Virginia Tech. Basically, I like Liberty in the 14 and a half. 
Well, I'm going to take Virginia Tech to win the game. I think they got everybody back. Uh, they they played without all their players most of the year. Who do you like here? Uh, I'm going with Liberty. All right. Uh, he, uh, Jason goes with Liberty yeah. to upset yeah, Virginia yeah, Tech. Yeah, Liberty's quarterback is the former Auburn transfer, Malik Willis, and he's played yeah. right south. Yeah, I didn't know that. That was something y'all knew and y'all weren't sharing with us. That's why I took Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, th th we know they were supposed to be good Baptists to go there, uh, but uh, I'm taking Virginia Tech in that game. Okay, uh, Florida State and Pittsburgh. Did everybody take Florida State? Uh, Forrest, who did you take? I, I took Pittsburgh. Everybody took Pittsburgh. Yeah, I, am I the only one that took Florida State? Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's what winners are made of. Here's a good one, Louis Louisville at Virginia. Virginia hadn't done anything until last week. They beat North Carolina. Who do you like, Forrest? Hmm. Little boy, Virginia. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Virginia. Virginia. Yeah, Louisville just got destroyed. Um, I'm gonna take uh, Virginia. And uh, okay. Virginia. Here's a good one. Texas A&M at South Carolina. Uh, this is a big one, and you know they he might have turned this thing around a little bit at uh, uh, Texas A&M. I'm gonna take Texas A&M over South Carolina. Who do you like okay, here? Texas, Texas A&M. All right, you like Texas A&M, and uh, who do you like here, uh, Jason? Texas A&M. Jason takes Texas A&M. Yeah, I'll take uh, I'll take Texas A&M. I think uh, Texas A&M is gonna be uh, eight and one going into the Auburn game yeah. to finish the season. Yeah. All right, let me let me tell you this now, just to uh, uh, make sure. Uh, did everybody take Virginia, or who do they take? Uh, over, I took Virginia. Uh, over Louisville, Virginia, and Louisville. Everybody took Virginia. Everybody took Virginia. Except me, I'm going to take Louisville. <laughs> I'm going to take Louisville to win the game. Bless your heart. If you're going to watch, watch the A&M South Carolina, the, the game will be at 6 o'clock on ESPN. A&M's a nine-and-a-half point favorite. Well, here's a big SEC game everybody's excited about. Vanderbilt 0-4 at Mississippi State 1-4. Mm. The Bandy uh, Commodore. I, 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 I can't pick Vanderbilt to beat anybody. I'll pick Mississippi State. <laughs> okay, uh, who do you I like mean, here? I mean, would, would, would Hugh Freeze be a James Franklin type guy at Vanderbilt? I mean, could he turn Vanderbilt around? I don't know if he. I know he's got ties to Tennessee to that area. I don't know if that would be a good hire or not. Well, I don't know if Hugh Freeze would want to take that job. Yeah. All right, who do you like here, Mike? Mississippi State. Okay. Mississippi State. Well, it's Ole Miss instead of Mississippi State, isn't it? Yeah, it is Mississippi State. My fault. You're right. You're right. Ole Miss put 54 on Vanderbilt last week. Yeah. That's going to be a good one, isn't it? Just shoot in here because one of them got to have some relief. Is that right? Vanderbilt's going to need some relief. I don't okay. see Vanderbilt winning the game. I was looking back up. up uh, the, all right, here's a good one. Maryland at Penn State. Who do y'all like here? Maryland at Penn State. Well, to, uh, to his brother, Tallulah, who transferred out of, Alabama, out of Alabama to Maryland, had 450 yards passing and accounted for five touchdowns as they beat Minnesota last week. Penn State 0-2, oh though. I don't see them start 0-3. Oh I'll take Penn State. I'll take Penn State. Who do you like? Uh, Jason, who you, who I'm going you? with Maryland. Maryland? I am. You like those helmets, don't you? Man, I do. <laughs> Maryland, uh, Jason, this is going to be a... Uh, that's a uh, this upset special of the year. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's going to be 20, Penn State's 24 and a half point favorite. The phones are ringing everywhere. The phones are ringing everywhere. We he found out that they just got Baltimore uh, Ravens uh, backup quarterback. Is that right? You think uh, you think uh, um, Jackson could come in the Baltimore Ravens uh, quarterback and uh, beat Penn State? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they can or not. Lamar Jackson. All right, all right. Everybody else took Maryland. Is that right? I mean, Penn State. I'm taking, I'm taking Penn State for still. Okay, all right. Here we go. Here's a big one here. West Virginia at Texas. 
Hey, give me those Longhorns. That uh, that, uh, that former Troy guy can't win. That, can't beat Texas. But you know, Neil Brown's got the best defense in the country at West Virginia. And the crazy thing is, Vic Tony, the great defensive coordinator, of course, was let go before the season. And the co-defense coordinator, Jordan Leslie, the former Troy player. Yeah, they mentioned Jordan. And, uh, and defensive line coach. Texas just had their biggest win of the year at Oklahoma State. Um, I think this is going to be an extremely close game, but I'll take Texas. All right. Uh, I know he uh, – did he ever – did you ever let, let him have a car? Who's that? Detroit. Uh, uh, Neil? Neil? Sure. Neil Brown. Yeah. Sure. All right. Uh, who do you like here? I got to go. I mean, smart thing is to take Texas. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Texas, I, too. I just – I'm going to take Texas, too. All right, Mike, who do you like? I mean, I said it was going to be close. You know, Neil Brown – offensively had their best game against Kansas State last week. You know, everybody was saying, how is Kansas State not favored? And West Virginia was a five-point favorite. West Virginia blows them out. So, it's amazing what Vegas knows. I know it is. No, no question about it. Everybody takes Texas or did anybody take West Virginia? I'm going to take Texas. If this, if, this, if this game was at West Virginia, I would take West Virginia. But okay. I'm still taking the home team. All right, everybody takes <laughs> Texas. Hook, uh, what is uh, the eyes of Texas are upon you? Hook them horn. Okay, this is a good one right here. The, it just says Texas running back Ingram rolled out for the West Virginia game. Uh oh. That, so that, that, that that's not good. That, that Sam Ellinger, that quarterback, is pretty good for Texas. Oh, Rocky Top, you'll always be home, sweet home to me. Good old Rocky Top. Rocky Top, Tennessee. Rocky Top, Tennessee. I'll take Tennessee to beat Arkansas this week. Who do y'all like? Tennessee at Arkansas. Uh, Jason Gregory? Tennessee. Tennessee. All right, he likes the orange, Mike. Who do you like here? This one right here has got red written all over, and I'm scared to take it, though. Who do you like? Yeah, I, I'm starting to think the teams have figured Arkansas out. I'm going to go ahead and take Tennessee as well. This is a must win for Jeremy Pruitt. I mean, the fan base is disappointed after the blowout to Alabama. And of course, they got beat by Georgia as well. And then the Kentucky loss is still just hard to believe. They got beat 34 7 at home. He's got to win this one. I'll take Tennessee. You know what? I'm wondering what y'all are thinking about, though. What do you think there's a new Tennessee out there? If you watch Tennessee against South Carolina and against Missouri, they dominated Missouri at home. I just feel like, you know, once they... But they're not playing at home, though. They're playing at Arkansas. I know, but they were up at the half against Georgia. Yeah. I I think they got some pretty good players. Uh, I'm going Suey Pig here. Suey Pig, I'm going to take Arkansas. Oh, God. I'm going to take Arkansas. All right. uh, Forrest takes Arkansas. You're going to make Jerry Jones happy. Yeah, exactly. Jerry Jones, yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, <clears throat> here's a good one right here uh, that I know everybody can't wait to watch. It's Texas Tech and TCU. We know one thing would be high scoring, don't we? I mean, you don't ever know what you're going to get with TCU. They blew, uh, blew somebody out last week. <laughs> I guess I'll take TCU. Texas Tech's only won one game. I'm going to take TCU. Who do you like, uh, Jason? TCU. All right, Jason takes TCU. And, uh, I'll take TCU. And, uh, well, everybody takes TCU right now. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back with more of the Premier Dodge Chrysler Jeeps and Ram Truck Picks of the Week brought to you by Premier Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram Truck. We'll be back. Our history is woven with the stories of those we serve. At Max, we've been a good community partner for 65 years. Max is dedicated to providing dependable financial services and to supporting our communities. We volunteer our time and share our resources. As a credit union, we've returned millions of dollars back to our members, local nonprofits, and small businesses. Max is honored to be a part of your story. We look forward to serving you for years to come. Here at Bill Jackson Chevrolet in Troy, we've been doing business the right way for 31 years. But don't take our word for it. We feel our customers express it the best. Been honest in everything we've discussed with them. When they say Jackson satisfaction, they really mean it. The Jackson satisfaction is real. 
Napa know-how. Trojan Auto Parts of Troy, home of Napa know-how. Stop by and see owners Mike and Melissa Kilcrease and their Napa know-how team with over 100 years of combined experience. We're the only locally owned parts store in Pike County and we're fully stocked and ready to serve you. We pride ourselves on being your go-to parts store, not only for the simple items, but we specialize in those hard-to-find items as well. Trojan Auto Parts, the right part at the right price at the right time. Napa, a name you've trusted here in Troy since 1945. Have you seen an increase in your insurance premiums or significant change in your insurance coverage? Let Sandbuck Insurance offer you a better plan to suit your business or personal needs. Sandbuck Insurance offers many lines of insurance. Whether it's home, farm, or auto insurance, work comp, business, or health and life policies, Sandbuck is here for you. Call or visit our Troy, Enterprise, or Andalusia office today. Sandbuck Insurance, where we take pride in taking care of your insurance needs. And then brought it back. And, I mean, it really does keep on. Back to our show. Look at Mike Hamilton jumping out of the ceiling up there. Yeah, he said, we're sitting down here uh, at our location uh, at Troy Cable in our studios. And Mike Amos is sitting right behind me. See this? See? Look, look. <laughs> I, can, I can play with his whistles. Uh, going on. Yeah. We've got some more. Starting to grow my winter beard. I'm hoping it's going to be down to here in yeah. about a month. We got a good one here, Michigan and Indiana. Who do y'all like there? Michigan and Indiana. Hmm. Boy, everybody's on Jim Harbaugh after the Michigan State loss, and Indiana's 2-0. They lost two games already. I mean, very, very tough game to pick here. I'm going to take Michigan to bounce back and win. Michigan, uh, uh, where they play that, uh, he, he takes uh, Michigan... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up. I'm going for the upset. I'm going to take Indi- Indi- Indiana to beat uh, Michigan. Who you like, uh, Jason? I'm going with Michigan. Michigan has always been known for their program. Okay. All right. They'll uh, pull out. The, uh, the Big Ten has allowed no fans either, so it's almost like a glorified scrimmage. All right. Who do you like here? Uh, Jay, uh, Greg, I mean, Forrest, who do you like? I'll take the Wolverines. The Wolverines. Okay. Michigan, Michigan is a three-point favorite. If you want to watch this game, it'll be on Fox Sports 1 at 11 a.m. A lot of games at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, yeah. A lot, a lot of people want to get it over with, don't they? All right, all right. So everybody took uh, uh, Michigan but me. Is that right? Y'all like the helmets, I know. I know uh, that's what I can hear. Uh, far, uh, uh, Jason, when he was a little kid, said, Daddy, I want one of those uh, uh, Michigan helmets. I want one of them. Get me one. No. <laughs> the only other people that wear that helmet, Mike, is, is, is my favorite team that I know of that wears that, that type helmet. Sweetwater. Sweetwater wears it. <laughs> okay. Dad, have you ever been to Michigan campus? No, uh, I never have. I've been to Michigan States, but not Michigan. I've been to East Lansing, but not, not to Ann Arbor. Mm. All right, here we go. Uh, I took Indiana, okay. Oklahoma State and Kansas State. This one should be a pretty good game. I tell you, Oklahoma State's got a good, pretty good team if y'all watched them. I'm going to take uh, Oklahoma State to win that game. Who do y'all like? Oklahoma State. I'm take Oklahoma State. All right. Uh, Jason Gregory took Oklahoma State. Forrest Lee took Oklahoma State. Mike, who do you like? This game's on Fox at 3 o'clock. Uh, Oklahoma State's a 12 and a half point favorite. I'll, I'll take Oklahoma State. Right. Here's a big one from out west here now. Stanford at Oregon. And, uh, boy, this is going to be a good one. Hopefully they'll play it. Finally, uh, finally we got some real football back. We got the Pac-12. Oh, really yeah, fun. exactly. Who do you like here, Jason? I'm going with Oregon. All right. Oh, he takes Oregon, Mike. Uh is the, uh, I'm going to take Oregon, too. I think Oregon plays yeah, big boy Oregon football. Coach Mar- Mario Cristobal, of course, he was at Alabama as an assistant. Okay. He used to be the head coach of Florida International. Troy used to play him all the time. He uh, has done a great job recruiting. Oregon, I think, will win the Pac-12, Pac- so I'm going to take Oregon. I'll take Oregon. All right. Uh, is that it? All right. How about Houston playing uh, – uh, a team that I think uh, you got to watch, and that is uh, Cincinnati. 
Houston and Cincinnati going at it. Who do y'all like? Yeah, yeah Cincinnati's undefeated. They've got a great quarterback. If anybody you know, hadn't watched them named Ritter, you need to watch them. They're great defense as well. This game will be on ABC at 2.30. Oh, wow, man, they get big-time TV, don't they? Cincinnati's a 13-and-a-half-point favorite. I'll take Cincinnati. Mike took Cincinnati. Uh, who do you take, uh, Jason Gregory? I'm going to take Cincinnati. Y'all know uh, uh, for the last 30 minutes he hasn't been selling cards. They're lined up right now at his desk waiting for him to give them final signature on, on, on all his salesmen are lined up. And, and uh, Now, are you still giving away uh, uh, coolers? Yes, sir. <laughs> so if you buy a new car today, you get a, a, a Yeti cooler, which is, uh, I'm wondering sometimes what's the most important thing, the car or the cooler? Well, the car. <laughs> That's right. Have you got any new colors out? New colors coming in or anything? In cars? Yeah, no, in Yeti coolers. Oh, in Yeti coolers. <laughs> I got a few I different cars. Now they're starting to to roll out the production line. So uh, my parts parts manager Larry, he was so excited the other day. He got a uh, load of thirty one day, and that afternoon he got another load of twenty. And oh man! Next day he got another forty more. And, now, let me ask this. Now, a lot of these cards come in in the middle of the night. I've seen that, you know, these, uh, and, uh, now, is there somebody there to sign them in, or no. do they, they, they have to sit with a vehicle? Drop, they drop them off. They do? <laughs> just drop them off. And of course, they're beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, Dodge Ram Jeeps and uh, 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 wonderful Chryslers, and, uh, you know, that's a, a real fine car that I see more and more of on the road, uh, uh, luxury cars. A crash it, yeah. Okay. So do y'all have, uh, do y'all have a, a service center that, that works on cars as well? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it does yeah, a you know, phenomenal. Y'all do all all changes, everything? That's right. Yeah. All right, quickly, let's go with Michigan State, and uh, they are playing, uh, and this is the Big Ten here, at Iowa. Now, Iowa's off to a slow start. I think I, I'm going to take Iowa to beat Michigan State. They, even though Michigan State beat Michigan, I'm going to take Iowa to beat them. Who do you like, uh, Jason? Michigan State. Michigan State, man. He's going against me almost every time now, Mike, and, th and this is what winners Iowa's, are made of. Uh, I, I was 0-2. Michigan State's 1-1. One one. Um, man, it, it, it's hard uh, this week. Everybody's playing. There's so many games. To there really is a lot of games. Iowa's a six-and-a-half-point favorite at home. This game will be on ESPN at 11 a.m. I'll take Iowa. Okay, I took Iowa, too. State. All right, who did you take, uh, Farron? Michigan State. Michigan State, too, the State. green. All right, uh, uh, here's a good one here. Nebraska at Northwestern. Northwestern won again, Mike. They're undefeated. Yeah, Nebraska had to sit out. Last week, uh, I guess because of uh, Wisconsin not being able to play, um, they got blown out by Ohio State to open the season. I can't see Northwestern starting the season three, though. I'll take it's Nebraska. Okay, I'm going to take Nebraska. Uh, who do you like here, Jason? Nebraska. Jason takes Nebraska. Cornhuskers. Mike, I don't you North see that? Northwestern. Northwestern? Okay. I'm taking Northwest. All right, I got you. They're pretty good. And they're playing that Northwest. You know what? I'm going to change my mind. I'm changing my mind. I'm going to take the Northwestern. Uh, okay, here's a goodie. Uh, right here, that's what old John Forney used to say. Here's a goodie. Arizona State at Southern Cal. Uh, this is uh, uh, going to be a highlight game out west. Who do you like? So the, the story of this game is this going to be 9 a.m., Pacific time that they'll be playing out in California. At night, at night, uh, a.m. or p.m.? No, 9 a.m. in the morning. Oh, gosh. This, this game will be on 11 o'clock on Fox. Oh, um, me. You know, you know, Clay Helms has been on the hot seat for years at USC, and uh, he's got one of the best quarterbacks in the country. Um, I'm going to take USC to win this game, but Herm Everett, you know, the former – you know, ESPN announcer and coach in the pros has done a great job at Arizona State, but I'll take USC at home. Well, we're, uh, that's going to be a pretty good one. Now, Washington and California are not playing. 
Yeah, I didn't get get yours though. Uh, who do I'm you going like? Arizona State. All right, uh, Jason goes with Arizona State, Mike. And who do you like? Who do you go with on the, in that game? Who do you like? USC. Who? I'll, I'll, Arizona State. I'll take USC. Oh, USC. All right, USC. Okay. I'll take USC. All right, uh, far takes USC. All right, we're moving right down to the final. This game will be on at 11 a.m. on Fox. Okay. All right. Uh, here's another one from out west. Now, we know this, that Washington and California are not playing. UCLA and Colorado, who's playing in that game? Who's playing? Yeah, well, <laughs> are they going to play? UCLA at Colorado. I'm going to take uh, Colorado. Who do y'all like? I'm going to take Colorado to, to win that game. Jason, who do you like here? I go Colorado. Okay. All right, uh, Mike, who do you like real quick? Uh, I guess I'll take Chip Kelly and UCLA. It's Forrest on the speakerphone. I keep on hearing background. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, he's here. All right, here's the big one. Uh, who do you like here, uh, Paris? I'll take UCLA. All right, uh, Paris takes UCLA. All right, the biggest game of the week of, of the weekend pits. Uh, the Georgia Bulldogs against uh, the uh, Florida Gators. And uh, this one, we're going to uh, pick a score. Who do y'all like here? All right, Georgia Georgia, and uh, Florida. I actually, I actually think the biggest game of the year is, is uh, tonight, BYU against Boise State. Oh, wait a minute. I missed that one. Let's go with that one before we do the Florida game. Go with that one. You got America's team, BYU, undefeated 7-0 or 6-0 going against Boise State on the blue turf. And oh, man. Uh, let me they tell only, you. They only, they, they only started playing, uh, I think, two weeks ago. It came called Fox Sports 1 at 8.45 tonight. It'll be over about midnight. Yeah. Uh, BYU is now a three-and-a-half-point favorite, over or under 65. Boy. 61-and-a-half. What a game. This is a tough one. Jason, I'm going to let you have it. I'm going to go with BYU. All right, Jason goes with undefeated BYU. Boise on the blue field, though, now, Jason. Boise on They're the blue tough, field. They're tough, but BYU handling. And they, and they got a great coach. Yeah, they do. All right, who do you like, Mike? I like BYU possibly winning overtime. I mean, I think that's how close this game's going to be. I'll take BYU in a very close one. Okay, uh... I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take, I, I, I can't go go against Boise on a blue field. This is when BYU gets it. I'm going to take Boise to win the game. Okay, I'll now, now I, I need a score uh, from the Georgia and a winner from the Georgia-Florida game. Uh, Jason, who are you going to take here? Florida, 35-21. 35-21, Florida. All right, I'm going to take. I'm gonna take 30 of uh, Florida, 38 to 24. What was yours now? I had 38, 24 Florida. I got 35, 21. All right, okay. All right, uh, Paris, who do you like here? I'm gonna take Florida, uh, 38, 17. 38, 17. Mike, who do you like? I mean, I'll tell you what, after watching Mullins, against uh, Missouri go out on the field trying to fight. And then they're, you know, pulling him back. And then a, a day riot starts with all the players fighting left and right. I mean, Mullen has just been strange all year. I mean, I, I like Florida. I think they're finally going to probably beat Georgia this year. But I can't I can't go against uh, Georgia uh, after watching Mullen last week. I'm going to take Georgia in a close one. I'm going to say they win by three. Georgia by uh, three. Give it, give it, give it, give it. The, 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 the score will be uh, 28 to, uh, I mean, I don't know. I can say 28 to 25. Let me say 27, 24. 27, 24. 27, 24. Georgia. Yeah, they, they, I think it'll be a fairly low-scoring game if, if, uh, Florida, if, Florida, if Georgia has anything to do with it. Uh, all right, Sparks, did, did you give you gave yours, didn't you? Yes, sir. Florida, 38-17. All right, I didn't get you on BYU boys this day. Who'd you, who do you have there? Boise. All right, took Boise. Okay. 
All right, guys. Uh, I, I'm sorry about uh, the not being organized as, as organized well, as you. Dad, uh, Dad, do you ever want to pitch Troy and George Southern? That game yeah. Oh game? gosh, what am I? What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Troy and Georgia Southern. Troy at Georgia Southern. Troy's one of the last three. Georgia Southern uh, is a very good program, very good team. I'm gonna take Troy to win the game. And I'm going to put a score on it, too. I'm going to say Troy's going to win the game 38-31, to 31, Troy. All right, uh, Jason, who do you like here? I'm going to take Troy, and I'm going to take, let's see, um, four, 42. It's going to be high scoring, I believe. 42-28. to 28. Nobody takes uh, Georgia Southern, is that right? That's right. I'm, I mean, when the season started, I took Georgia Southern, but the White Troy played last mm. week. If they play anywhere close to that, and I tell you, the, the free kid out of Brantley, I mean, he's played lights out. And he played great when he came in as a backup. Yeah. But now we, he's going up against a very physical team. This is, well, uh, I thought it was physical last week, too, though. I would have said the same thing about uh, our, I mean, I mean, Arkansas Troy, State. Troy's wide, Troy's wide receivers, I think, will be the difference in this yeah. game. I think they'll make a lot of big plays. All right. What is your score again? 27-24? No, I took, uh, I took Troy 31-24. 31-24. Okay. Mike, um, uh, I, I, I did not get your BYU board the score, uh, deal. Who did you like there? I, I, I took BYU by field goal. I think it'll be an extremely close game. All right. You like BYU against... I can't believe y'all are going against Boise on the blue pill. Is I'm the only one took Boise? No, I took them. No. Okay, Forrest. Okay, Forrest. It's what winners are made of. <laughs> you, you know, if you want to watch other football games tonight, you got Miami traveling to North Carolina State. Miami is a ten and a half point favorite. That game will be on ESPN tonight as well. Also, Dad, you'll like this game a lot. It's the uh, Mountain West. You'll have San Jose State <laughs> against San Diego State. Oh yeah, it'll be a good one. Won't it? <laughs> tonight as well. That'd be a good one. Um, well, we do appreciate. Uh, Go ahead, you Mike. Also got, uh, you also got, uh, you know, the high school playoff games. Remember Charles Henderson, not not Charles Henderson, but Tyler Ross will be playing tonight on Floyd Taylor. What time would that kick be? 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock from, from uh, uh, the Landon Kerbin Stadium. Ought to be a good one. I'm going to go out and watch it if I can. I'm gonna, but uh, you can watch the game uh, live right here on Troy Cable. We'll be right back, but uh, thank you, Jason. Appreciate you being with us. And, yes, uh, sir. Of course, I know you, you, you're you uh, anxious to get out and sell a few cars. Of course, we're going to go uh, by and have a little breakfast at Bird's this morning. I hope everybody's having a good morning, and we'll be back with more of the show in just a moment. At the Piggly Weekly, we proudly support our local farmers and bring you the best they have to offer, all at cost plus 10%. When you shop local, you reinvest in your community. Remember, buy local, shop local. Piggly Wiggly, local since forever. 
A personal touch, a high level of trust. Whether it's checking and savings accounts, personal or business loans, or our local friendly service. That's what Troy Bank and Trust customers expect. But now we offer more. Free identity theft protection for our new and existing customers. Protecting your family's time, money, and good name from identity theft. Because protecting your identity is now a big part of our identity. Troy Cable Security Wi-Fi Doorbell Camera allows you to answer the door from your smartphone when you are at home, at work, or on the go. When a visitor presses the button, Troy Cable Security sends a live video feed to your smartphone so you can see, hear, and speak to the person at your door. With the doorbell camera, you can have your porch light turn on automatically when it detects motion at night to create the appearance that someone is at home. You can view video clips so you can always know who stopped by when you are out. Troy Cable Security. You love them. Protect them. By its very nature, doing big things takes resilience and strength. You did the hard part, you did it, and we'll go farther still. Max is proud to be your champion, removing obstacles that get in your way. We make technology easy, saving and funds access uncomplicated and provide help when and how you want it. You control your money with expert guidance from Max Credit Union. Smart money made simple. Carolina. Oh gosh, that was a good one. We got we need to we need to add it. <laughs> well, Coast Carolina's big uh, team in the country. Yeah, we play Coastal next week. That's why our show brought to you by Premier Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram Trucks on the bypass. And of course, we, there's one other game that we were interested in. We're not going to actually uh, pick it, but uh, the hot, one of the hottest teams in the country right now is Coastal Carolina. They're undefeated. And they play uh, South Alabama uh, at uh, in in uh, at home. Is that right? Yeah, Conway, South Carolina is where Coastal is. So Coastal Conway, South Coastal Carolina is a long way for uh, for South Alabama to go. And I just cannot see them handling uh, Coastal Carolina. So it looks like to me, Coastal Carolina will be coming to Troy next week undefeated and ranked probably within the net, the top. 15 in the country. What do you think? Yeah, I think that'll definitely happen. Top Wouldn't that be a heck of a game next week? That'd be a great game. Yeah, this game is going to be on ESPNU. If anybody wants to watch, it'll be at 7 o'clock. And then next week, the Troy Coastal game will be at, will be at 11 a.m. on ESPNU. So um, that should be the biggest crowd of the year for a Troy game. Uh, but uh, how can anybody get the ESPNU? ESPNU is on everybody's cable. Most most people's cable, Troy Cable's on 125, I believe. What? You can have Steve in the back, but over, over 14 million people can watch ESPN. Well, I'm paying for ESPN Plus, and I'm not getting it for some reason, some crazy reason. I just probably don't I know what to, I'm doing. Uh, I'll have to set that at ESPN up, up at your house. I can do it. Back to our show, of course, uh, uh, I would like to also mention that uh, ESPN has uh, had to lay off a bunch of people. Man, uh, something like 200 people, and uh, of course, uh, hopefully those guys will be back uh, by by today uh, or tomorrow because they've got a big weekend of of college football right here, and uh, we we did uh, touch base on that uh, Coastal Carolina. They're ranked 16th in the country right now, and uh, they play South Alabama tomorrow. If they win that, they'll go into the Troy game next week undefeated. Uh, you gonna give away? Uh, a, 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 a couple of more cards and a couple Hope, more. Yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll run one back. Yeah, that's right. Um, for the Coast of Carolina game. Yeah, I can, I, can, I, I, can, I can see you right now uh, hollering out, tackle him, tackle him. No, that's what the insurance is for. <laughs> hey, I want, I want one to, to run one back. Yeah. Well, I want good. Troy to run one back on open the kickoff on either half. Cause... Jason, what were you saying during the break about employee... Uh... Discount. Car, car sales oh, uh, yeah. Listen, the the factor just came out, and, and last year was really big, and and this year I think it's gonna be even better. Uh, employee pricing for all. So Is that, that means anyone idea? that that walks in the door and qualifies to buy a car, a brand new car, at what a factor employee can buy it for, which is Boy, a lot of incentives. Plus, you get all the other rebates too. Yeah, I was I was gonna ask you if it, if it included man. That we're talking about some great savings. That's that's, that's right. right. That, that's a, that alone is a four or five thousand dollars. That's right. Uh, Just right uh, off the top. Right off the top. 
uh, the, the employee pricing. And uh, I, I went through and uh, yesterday, like you said, <clears throat> I don't believe you, you know, you've been here three years. I can't remember you having more cars uh, on the lot than you got right now. Listen, we're selling them. And, you know, in order to sell the big numbers, you got to have big inventory. Yeah. So um, I, we've been blessed. We've been shopping everywhere, finding, finding vehicles. We had a great month last month, trading in a lot of cars. So, I mean, I, if you're you looking know, for you that know, program, you don't car, watch it, you'll be able to buy another horse. No, 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 no more. But, <laughs> Man, I heard that is big time. Worse than I've ever seen in my life down here. Unbelievable. That is big time. Some of, the, some of these golf carts, they rent for a thousand a week. Listen, I, I, uh, I went at it. Uh, man, golf carts down there. My brother lives down there in uh, Miramar Beach. So oh, yeah. um, he just bought himself a golf cart the other day. And man, it cost just as much as one of my cars I got out here for sale. Yeah. Is he older than you or younger? No, he's younger than I. Uh huh. <laughs> He's already retired, is that right? About, he's got about five or six uh, little subways down there. Oh, does he? Okay, okay. Good friend of mine uh, uh, here in Troy uh, uh, that is in that business, too. Uh, he probably know, probably know each other. Of course, uh, I mean, ladies between, and gentlemen. Between, between golf carts and bike rentals down here, I mean, people are making a killing. It's yeah. just unbelievable. But, you know, the liability has got to be huge, though, on these folks that, that rent those uh, uh, vehicles. What, what would you think? Yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, you've got insurance, I would imagine, yeah, at some exactly point, or you're, saying, yeah. or you're paying for temporary insurance. Oh, yeah. Is that yeah, right? We have a lot of rentals <laughs> next to us down here in Grayton, and, like, literally, they'll all come in with trailers. They'll drop off two golf carts, ten bicycles. They'll do all kinds of paddle boards. They'll be at the house when those people arrive. They're all just sitting there. And then they'll come back and pick them up after they leave. It's, it's a great, great business. Yeah, okay. Well, you ought to get in it. I'll, I'll, I'll buy your I'll buy your first uh, golf cart from you, but uh, well, <laughs> let me ask this though: do, do, Would you prefer gas or uh, electric? Gas. And uh, uh, gas, yeah. you start talking about a completely different market. Is that right? That's right. Well, you know they can drive on 38. That's what's so crazy about the golf carts. They can drive up and down. They the let them. They let them drive, but most of them are pretty fast. Then aren't they? Uh, they only go 25 miles an hour. Yeah, uh, that's right. I spend, uh, most of my day, I spend most of my day trying to pass them. <laughs> Get off the road. Get off the road. But, uh, you know, that's big business, like you said. Uh, it's called yuppies, like you, yuppies, both of y'all. Like me? What are you talking about? Yeah, yuppies. Well, you know, he, 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 ladies and gentlemen, he, he works just because he uh, it looks good. <laughs> he doesn't have to work. <laughs> Whatever. Nah, I've got, got, got uh, uh, Being facetious, uh, no harder working man anywhere than Jason Gregory, and he invites you to come by and enjoy this uh, four, four to, uh, we're talking about right off the top, four to five thousand uh, dollar per vehicle of uh, uh, savings. savings already uh, uh, right off the bat uh, at uh, Premier Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram trucks. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't get to ask Jason, were you? Uh Blown away by Auburn's performance last week against LSU. Listen, you don't have to worry about that after halftime. What a game! What a game! If I, you had the half, you 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 couldn't see it. You couldn't see that. that kind listen, of I, I would have never guessed. I was like, maybe I'm just dreaming this. Yeah. I just kept waiting for the for the uh, for the comeback. Yeah. I was like, golly. And I hate to say it, it just almost looked like LSU just quit. Uh, or something. I don't know what it was, but it just Auburn just seemed to play so much harder than they did. I think what if Bo Nix plays like that the rest of the season, you better you better watch out. That's gonna be a scary team. Because yeah, they got he speed, played, they got a lot of speed. Played, yeah, he played great. Of course, Auburn uh, coming off week, and uh, you know Auburn could be seven and two going into the Iron Bowl. So we'll see what happens. Six and two, I guess. You know, you forget Auburn has to finish with Alabama and A and M. That's extremely tough. That, that's that's gonna be real tough. Well, it's uh, gonna be a, the biggest weekend ever of uh, college football uh, with all these uh, teams coming in from the far west now, and uh, 
uh, like Mike says, can you believe watching uh, Southern Cal live at nine o'clock in the morning? Yeah, that, that's it's something nine o'clock our time. Is that right, or eleven o'clock our time? No, 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 no. Nine o'clock Pacific time, eleven o'clock our time. Or eleven o'clock our time, they white Southern Cal play football. But still, can you? Yeah, now, I'm a, now I'm going to tell my wife I'm going to be getting to bed about twelve thirty one o'clock watching games. Oh yeah, exactly. No question about <laughs> it. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, it's about, if you love college football, you couldn't find a better weekend than this. That's Even right. though Alabama and Auburn are not playing, that might be why you, you, you sort of rest a little bit. That's right. You're not on pins and needles with Auburn playing. Yeah. Daddy, I want to go yeah. ride horses. Daddy, I want to go ride horses. I can hear them right now. You, you, you know, this is when everybody from Alabama, Alabama comes to the beach this weekend. Auburn fans and Alabama yeah. fans come down and have a uh, weekend away. Now, Mike, the next time you come to Troy, we're going to go out to Jason's farm and ride horses. All right. <laughs> You got any sweet gum trees out there we can cut down? For uh, yeah, I need to get some sweet from my neighborhood. Sweet gum trees. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll be on the. I'll be out there looking for them this weekend. I'm sure. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed our show. And of course, brought to you by Pond Stockers. You know, we've got a Pond Stock Stocker right here in That's Troy, right. Alabama. And of course, he can put what we want on fountains in out there. Do you have fountains? Not yet. All right, you need to talk to Pond Stockers uh, at it. <laughs> uh, on our show, and uh, and uh, those, those things do make it look good. Uh, you know, uh, the, the pond look good with a big fountain on it. That's right. And of course, I uh, uh, hope everybody's uh, safe this weekend. Uh, be responsible with the mask, and uh, uh, I tell you what, you walk in in, in uh, your store, I notice everybody wears a mask, and that's uh, the, yes, the sir. responsible thing to do. Yes, sir. You 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 know about it firsthand, don't you? Hey, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, we appreciate uh, Jason Gregory uh, with the Premier Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram Trucks being with us today. Hope you've had a good time listening into our predictions, and you'll pay real close attention to who I like in college football this weekend. Uh, have a great weekend, and uh, uh, go Trojans! We'll see y'all.